Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss the method of purify gold from lead and processing it to obtain completely pure gold. Stay with me to learn about this process step by step. After following along with me in previous videos on how to extract gold from ore using lead, but several viewers encountered some challenges after using the method and couldn't obtain pure gold after the evaporation process, Instead, they ended up with something like this here. Several questions were raised and they sent them to me asking for a solution. In response to their request, I produced this video to clarify the correct method to obtain pure gold. But before we start, I hope you'll watch the video from start to finish so you don't miss any step in the process. If you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to support us and follow more specialized content. Also, click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. And don't forget to hit the like button frequently if you found this video helpful. This helps us create more valuable videos and better content for you. Thank you for your continuous support. Using borax to melt impurities is a common method in gold extraction known as the borax method. This process helps extract gold from ore by reducing the melting point of the impurities, making it easier to separate them from the gold. To convert a mixture of gold and lead into pure gold, the following steps can be followed. The mixture is heated in a furnace at high temperatures above the melting point of lead 327.5 degrees Celsius and gold 1064 degrees Celsius. Lead will melt before gold. Melting a mixture of lead and gold using borax requires several stages that depend on various factors such as furnace temperature, quantity size, and the purity of the metals used I will explain in detail. Preparation, the mixture. If you are melting a mixture of lead and gold, the required melting temperature will depend more on lead because its melting point is lower 327.5 degrees Celsius. Borax or flux is added to help lower the melting temperature of impurities and make the process smoother. Borax helps clean impurities from the gold and protects the metal from oxidation. Lead, as mentioned, the melting point of lead is about 327.5 degrees Celsius. At this point, lead will begin to melt. Gold, the melting point of gold is 1064 degrees Celsius. Therefore, if the goal is to separate lead from gold, you need to reach this temperature so that lead remains in a liquid state and gold can be incorporated in the final state. The melting time depends on the size of the mixture and the furnace used in most cases. Small lead quantity 100-200 grams, it can take 5-10 to 10 minutes to start melting if the furnace is well heated. Gold mixed with lead after lead melts, gold will need additional time to reach its melting point. This can take an extra 15-30 to 30 minutes depending on the amount of gold and the type of furnace. Roll of borax dot each time you use borax. You should add it after the lead starts melting. Borax helps clean impurities and leaves the gold in a nearly pure state. Quantity you should use about 10% to 20% of the weight of the metal as borax to ensure a good reaction. When lead is heated to its melting point, which is around 327.5 degrees Celsius, it melts and turns into a liquid. If the lead is mixed with gold, a small amount of lead may remain combined with the gold as a result of the melting process. To purify the gold from lead, methods such as cupellation are often used. The mixture is heated to high temperatures with certain materials, allowing the lead to separate and leaving behind pure gold. As you can see here, the alloy is still not refined. It has not reached an advanced stage, and I think it is good, but there is still work that must be done. To separate lead from gold in an alloy, there are several methods you can follow, most of which rely on the differences in the physical and chemical properties of the two metals. Cupellation. This method is used in metal processing and is one of the oldest methods for separating metals. 
The alloy is heated to a high temperature exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius using a special furnace, causing the lead to oxidize and turn into lead oxide litharge, which either evaporates or is absorbed by the cupel, a porous material. Meanwhile, the gold remains unaffected and stays in its pure metallic form. Electrolysis Metals can be separated using electrolysis where the alloy is placed in an electrically conductive acid and when an electric current is passed through. The metals ionize and separate based on the electrical potential difference of each metal. Selective dissolution, nitric acid is used to dissolve the lead without affecting the gold as gold is resistant to this acid. After removing the dissolved lead, the remaining gold is washed. And this is my preferred method because it yields satisfactory results. The use of nitric acid for gold purification is part of a process known as acid refining. It relies on the chemical ability of nitric acid to dissolve impurities and base metals while leaving gold unaffected. Here are the basic steps to follow. Wear personal protective equipment, safety goggles, chemical-resistant gloves, and an apron. Ensure you are working in a well-ventilated area or use a specialized ventilation system to avoid inhaling harmful. Place the raw gold or alloy containing impurities in an acid-resistant container. Slowly add nitric acid to the gold. The acid will begin to dissolve other metals while the gold remains unaffected as nitric acid alone does not dissolve gold. After dissolving the impurities, filter the solution using an appropriate filter to separate the acidic solution from the gold residue. But me, I don't use any filter. Thoroughly wash the remaining gold with distilled water to remove any acidic residues. If impurities remain, the gold can be put through an additional refining process using nitric acid.